Hey there, everybody. Here to talk about a new toy I picked up from Spark Electronics, the uh, LilyPad Proto Snap Development Board. A LilyPad, if you're not aware, is a e-textile Arduino board. Arduino, Arduino. It comes with it is not only the pad and the main board, USB connector. It's a little lipo battery, a couple bobbins of conductive thread, pack of needles, and uh, that's about it. Also picked up a bunch of alligator clips because you know can never run out of those, and they've got a six-foot orange uh, USB to mini B connector for the board. If you don't happen to have one, you'll need a, you know need one of those cables for it. The gist of the board is these are uh, little bits and uh, little little sensors and computer uh, electronics you can plug in, uh, program like you would a normal Arduino product, and sew it into your clothes. But instead of having wires or some sort of copper you would use the, this what it looks, it looks like gray uh, conductive thread, and it would take the charge from one of these little base connectors to another one, just like it would be a wire. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I've seen a lot of interesting instructable uh, projects going on that have these with it, or would power um, like an, L, an LCD screen to show numbers and output, uh, be it temperatures or light. Uh, one guy had a very nice looking, uh, mostly a leather and fur gauntlet that if you shook his arm because you can get you know accelerometers and whatnot for these things that it would randomly generate a one a, a four-sided five-sided six-sided you know basically a D and D roll on there to give you kind of a, just the size you're just seeing a quarter uh, you can tell that the connectors and the little uh, uh, optional add-ons are smaller than the quarter let's see a better view on that there you go. So yeah, pretty cool little toy. The neat thing about this whole development board, as I said, was everything is connected to it already. So you don't need to snap anything apart quite yet if you want to just, you know, futz around and uh, develop a program for it. It's, uh, you know, they recommend you keep this in here until you feel comfortable uh, with playing around with it. Then snap it off, sew it in some clothes, power up the battery, and off you go. Oh, and as I'm seeing, other, uh, this battery. And I was a little confused about this, how to charge these things. Because, I mean, it's a small, little, couple gram deal. The gist of this is you would plug your USB in to your computer and then to the connector. Plug this in uh, to it as well, and it will start charging it. That's how you recharge these suckers is off uh, having the USB plugged in the computer and, and then this plugged in there. I guess there's some sort of overcharge protection on this deal. And the uh, so they won't blow up or, like, burn out. But the bigger ones take a little longer, but you can get an independent charger for it. But that's not needed. I almost had to buy, it was like 20 extra 23 bucks or so. And I was like, oh man, I don't want to do that. But after reading some more uh, comments on SparkFun's forum, that, that's what I found out. So what we have here are a pretty good, uh, you know, robust group of things we have uh, of options. So you have the main board, I believe it's considered their symbol board. They have one with more extra little fronds here. Uh, top right, we have a temperature sensor a light sensor, a piezo speaker or buzzer, five really bright LEDs, a toggle switch, get a little closer to that, yeah, a toggle switch, a button, a RGB LED, so your red, green, blue, and a vibrator. So eh, not too bad. The, the Arduino software, I haven't really played with it much uh, before this, you yeah, know, pretty easy. The code consists of a setup uh, method and a method simply called loop that will go through and act your program out. Uh, you know, I'll show you here in a minute of what the LEDs look like in sequence. It's a pretty short little for loop. You know, basically the same thing. Send a high signal to the A3 and then send a low signal to the A3 to turn it on or turn it off, high to turn it on. Uh, your speakers, you, you know, your piezo, same sort of operational with that. You can get feedback from your sensor here, like say your light sensor and have it say if it's dark, uh, it's, it passes a certain threshold, start turning LEDs on for you. Or if it gets, you know, say too cold, it starts vibrating, they'll let you know it's too cold or too hot, and various sorts of little things, and it'll uh, switch here to, you know, keep your power uh, turned on and off. Overall, pretty happy with the board. It's been fun playing with it. There's a whole mess of extra options and add-ons you can get for it. Things like an XB, uh, XB wireless for it, uh, six of the cylinders. Uh, I think there's a GPS tracker you can uh, feed in there. I think most of the Arduino stuff you can pop into a uh, dev board and connect it. 
Um, probably need a bit more juice for some of these things, but again, everything runs off this conductive thread, which I find is just immensely amusing. Uh, I believe the lady who wrote this, or who made these, were uh, she's at a uh, MIT, and I think a portion of every purchase of these goes back to her development for. So pick one up. Uh, again, SparkFun uh, it had them for the most cheap uh, price, and it's going to be a pretty good deal, pretty quick shipping. I would highly recommend it if you're looking to eat textile or just kind of fiddle around with it. This whole setup was maybe about 59 bucks, I believe they kind of go in for. And every couple, it seems like every about half year, uh, nine months, they have an updated version of this. You know, better hardware, uh, more effective boards. And this whole snap board was new and like it's in the last about nine months. Again, pick it up. It's always good fun. And let me show you what the LEDs look like when they're going.